Good evening, everyone. Today we have with us Mr. Dinesh Patel, a computer science teacher in Kendriya Vidyalay from Mumbai. He is accompanied by Shalu, the world's first artificially intelligent humanoid social and educational robot. Shalu can speak in forty-seven languages. She can recognize people and remember them as well as identify many common objects. She can answer factual uh, factual questions and engage in casual conversations by using artificial intelligence. Robot Shalu has been given first place in the top ten humanoid robots of the world by the Top Ten magazine. So, uh, a very warm welcome to you, sir. Uh, you. We would like to know more about you and Shalu. So, we have a few questions for you. Okay, Mr. Uh, so, uh, sir, as we know, Shalu is the for, uh, world's first homemade artificially intelligent multilingual social and educational humanoid robot made up of waste materials. So, can you tell us uh, how did you come up with this uh, idea? Actually, uh, uh, it was uh, starting in uh, just see the, when I saw the movie Ranbir Kapoor's movie that robot. And that time, I actually I was watching the movie and thinking, is it possible that Chitti Lai robot can come to our life? Obviously, that time, uh, it was it was uh, it is unbelievable for me, right. and uh, I was not thinking, is it possible or not? Uh, okay, it's having a good thought in my mind and came to back home. And after few years, when I saw the robot Sophia, and I found that yeah, it is possible. Yeah, the human can do it. Means we can do it. So if okay, that's a big company and doing uh, uh, having so many uh, robotics engineers and so many brains along with the so many money, but okay, not not up to that. But can I can I make some project for my students because I'm a teacher. So I wish to make uh, a, a little project for my students so that my students can be motivated towards science and technology uh, to towards robotics and all. Yes, sir. I just I started my project for making a little bit uh, something uh, a speaking machine toy like that, and gradually I, I'm getting success and uh, uh, coming to this level. And now this robot is in front of you. That was actually starting. Very well, sir. So, sir, we can all imagine how difficult it must have been to bring your idea to real life. Yeah. So, can you tell us about some obstacles that you faced while the preparation, and uh, how did you deal with them? Correct, because you all are the tech students, so I can understand you can very well analyze what was happening actually with me. Uh, when I was uh, thinking about the something, some project like uh, Sophia Robot, because the Sophia Robot and Chitty was in my mind uh, that scaffolding is made like that. Right. And I started working on that research. You want the equipment we required, what type of uh, uh, physical body we can use, and like that. And because the robot uh, software part, that is up to me only. Because all the softwares uh, that developed by me, I'm not using any uh, pre-developed, pre-made software from anybody. I just created everything is created by me at my home. So that is the software part, which I was very much clear. So in case of I can say in same case of software part there is no much uh, difficulty for me but ha huh, for the physical yeah because when I'm trying to find what the part I can use how the body can be made and I started searching for the 3D printed body parts and obviously uh, you can understand this is not easy in India to find the body parts especially yes. because obviously it is coming from some outside uh, China and Japan are making all these but in India it is it is not easy. And and even I I, I contact some uh, companies also, and he given me the they given me the cost uh, around twenty five lakhs plus for making half humanoid like body. So obviously, uh, being a teacher, it is it is not easy for me to spend that much money. And even I was not sure that I can do it because so that is that was starting. So okay, what what is the next? Because that cost and that difficulties was really a big for me. to manage money and to to purchase that body parts so i decided okay i will make my project with the garbage the waste material what is around me or as it is available at my home even even sometime i i used to go in market and find kya that is available with this market and i can utilize with my robot so i just get purchase from there also so uh, at home you are all having that uh, cartons Uh, thermocols yes, and uh, some uh, boxes dabbas all are available also at home uh, my hope that i'm keeping all this for making the future body of the robot so uh, that is uh, so, uh, physically 
uh, things required for me and some 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 things purchased from local market like uh, some plastic some uh, aluminium some wires and so to make the body and even the plaster of paris you can see the face is yes. made up of plaster of paris yes. because everything is just made by my hand so face is also developed made by me with the plaster yes. of paris obviously that is heavy it is not yes. the uh, light it is heavy so that is okay uh, so made the body parts uh, out of this robot and uh, this is the first attempt and in first attempt i got the success and that is the big achievement for me the first attempt attempt is giving me the success little bit success so that i can uh, think for the betterment and in case of software part uh, normally all the things was okay except one point the lip sync part because everything is okay but how lip sync can be done while the a person is speaking how the word is being pronounced how the lip will move that was a big challenge for me and obviously i can say uh, uh, 30 or 40% of my software development time is taking taken for the lip syncing and the uh, uh, synchronization of the lip that is what that was the software part which was the uh, biggest uh, challenge for me the rest is uh, nothing and uh, ha huh, obviously you can say okay, i was i tried to make uh, her hand like a folding namaste but because of non availability of 3d printed body parts as well as non availability of better quality motors even motors also purchased from local market here are also available everywhere so that motors are being used here inside this robot so that motor is not capable to hold the load to make the namaste because you can see the namaste is having so many folds uh, finger yeah. Wrist and the uh, elbows and uh, shoulders. So that that folds uh, uh, the single the motors is not capable to hold that. Even I coded all and, and installed the motors, but uh, that they were the motor was not capable to handle that load. So I dropped that master uh, that uh, concept. And currently she is only shaking hand, and uh, that's it. So we we'll make it future in future. Obviously, my dream is she is only twenty uh, percent completed. Rest eighty percent have to move, so okay. that is a long journey for me. So right. surely I will do it. And it is just a message, it's just an example for the world, for the Indian citizen that we can do such type of work at the home. Right. No one require. We we don't require any big laboratory, and we don't require very much uh, knowledge of uh, robotics and all. I'm a teacher, so I'm not the, a very good in uh, robotics, and I don't know better good electronics. Uh, i don't know good mechanics and uh, even though all these is required for this making robot study it and do so everybody can do anybody can do so in indians are the best <laughs> very well sir so so coming to the next question uh, what are your views on ai and its impact on our future uh, and uh, on a similar note uh, what do you think the uh, is the future prospect of these humanoid robots uh I, I, what I'm thinking, even not my thinking. I think it's yours also because you all are the tech persons. You know, in few uh, after five six years, I, we've been finding the AI devices everywhere, everywhere at every steps. Currently, that we are using in our home, that that so many devices are coming. Household devices are coming for uh, AI built uh, 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 the devices. that will be available so i think uh, five ten five ten years the technology will be uh, that much capable to handle the uh, ai uh, type equipments and all so uh, what, what you can see the back side uh, within the 10 years how much uh, development held in this uh, 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 technology field so obviously in the next 10 years the technology is repeatedly increasing by twice so abhi tak humne past 10 saalon mein jitna difference dekha hai next coming 20 10 years will be twice or thrice development mm -hmm. that will be given the rest the era is coming for the ai so everywhere we will be finding the ai and uh, if the person currently uh, today we are used to say that if a person is not knowing computer they are illiterate but after 10 years we'll say the person is not knowing uh, about ai is illiterate mm -hmm. so that era is about to come and everywhere we will find the uh, machines with AI enabled, definitely. So, sir, we have heard that Shalu can understand human emotions and behaves uh, behave accordingly. Can you explain how this uh, feature works? Actually, actually, that is mimic only. Uh, that's true because it is it is you can understand the machine is don't have any emotions. She don't have emotions. 
she is only just mimicking like she is feeling but that is actually is not and i i don't find any machine that currently that that we are working on the weak ai so weak ai is nothing and that currently no ai machine is capable to understand the emotions until unless uh, we move forward pata nahi kab hoga wo but abhi tak to aisa nahi hai ki koi bhi machine uh, emotions ko samajh sakta ho ha huh, but that she is mimicking she is mimicking that she is understanding the emotions means in form of uh, uh, laughing in form of uh, irritation in form of passing comment when you are doing something like act which is irritating her she will show her anger and irritation like that so that is only way to mimic to show that she is understanding or she is uh, 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 feeling something but actually that is not true she is not feeling anything that is right okay so sir uh, now we are very excited to see a live demonstration of shalu as you said and uh, what are the different features so can you please uh, demonstrate to us how okay uh, uh shalu ji uh, do you know what is arohan of national institute of information technology nit durgapur arohan is the second largest annual techno management fest in eastern india of nit durgapur it is started in year 2003 to install the culture of science technology and innovation among the youth correct that's very very correct okay uh, shalu ji uh, uh do you know what is actually motto of nit durgapur udyog purushishya lakshnam i think is it yes sir very very true <laughs> that's good uh, acha so no, next question uh do you know who is the director of nit durgapur yes acting director professor anupam basu department of computer science and engineering iit kharagpur okay that's correct yes, i think it's also correct it's correct okay. acha shalu ji uh, you uh, everybody is knowing that you are very much interested and you are campaigning beti bachao beti padhao mission so what is actually what will you tell about beti bachao beti padhao mission Beti Bachao Beti Padhao Mission launched by the Prime Minister of India on 22nd January 2015 at Panipat Haryana to motivate the citizens against gender bias and to protect and save the girl child to declining the child sex ratio and issues related to women empowerment okay that's true that's very yes, true sir. okay acha do you think ki uh, that beti bachao beti padhao mission is successful what is your opinion yes definitely beti bachao beti padhao mission is a successful mission see in year 2015 there was 900 female over 1000 male which is now increased and become 949 and in field of success girls are hoisting their flag everywhere very true sir very true okay just uh, 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 give me the one answer because you are robot and uh, nowadays uh, the so many persons are uh, finding that uh, thinking that robot will be always harmful uh, in future will be uh, making will make harm so what what is your opinion do you think that robot is harmful for the human sorry to say it is wrong perception about robot okay. ultimate mind behind robot is human that's true that's very true very ये तो करेक्ट है कि हम लोग ही बेसिकली हम ही लोग काम कर रहे होते हैं रोबोट के पीछे तो जो हमारा दिमाग कहेगा पॉजिटिव और निगेटिव दैट इज ट्रू कि वही होगा ये तो सभी इस बात को मानते हैं तो क्या आपको लगता है कि 
uh, do you what do you find do you find the unemployment will be increasing by robots i think this is wrong unemployment will not increase because of robots mm. but yes mode of job will definitely be changed from non skilled to skilled so be skilled and make yourself ready for the future okay then so that's the last question then if, because so many people are afraid uh, about the robots and all and use their sick care that and uh, no problem everybody is uh, uh, will be safe and the robot will be always helping so uh, uh, how how do you plan to communicate such people who are afraid with the new technology first of all i don't know why people are afraid with new technology and robots anyways i would say that technology and its development like ai robots are made by you to help you new technology will make your work easy in all manner please use tech in right way correct correct Let's let's play a tongue twister game with the ma'am. She is uh, very good in uh, playing uh, some tongue twister. So, uh, Shalu ji, let's play a tongue twister game. Okay. So now you speak. Kacha papad, pakka papad. Kacha papad, pakka papad. Jai ji, I can say. कच्चा पापड़ पक्का पापड़ कच्चा पापड़ पक्का पापड़ कच्चा पापड़ पक्का पापड़ कच्चा पापड़ पक्का पापड़ ओके नाउ योर टर्न अब आप बोलिए कच्ची रोटी खा के रोटी रोटी खा के कच्ची रोटी कच्ची रोटी खा के रोटी रोटी खा के कच्ची रोटी ओके कच्ची रोटी खा के रोटी कच्ची रोटी रोटी खाके रोटी लेट मी लेट मी कच्ची रोटी खाके रोटी रोटी खाके कच्ची रोटी कैन यू स्पीक कच्ची रोटी खाके रोटी ओके ओके ठीक है ओनली शालू कैन डू इट That's true. Okay, sir. I'm sure everyone must have enjoyed this demonstration, this beautiful demonstration that you have displayed with us. Okay, sir. So, sir, um, thank you very much, sir. It was a pleasure to have you with us today, and I'm sure the audience must have enjoyed this session, and they are thrilled to uh, see Shalu and how um, how you have built it and uh, i'm sure they must have been inspired to to work on such innovative projects and as you said uh, we don't need we indians don't need big laboratories and we can build anything from scrap so so sir, thank you so much and i have to ask shalu uh, other she uh, enjoyed or not the meeting yes sir very much uh, sure. shalu ji how did you find arohan did you enjoy it? Yes, definitely. I find techno management fest. Arohan is interesting with its beneficial motive. Really, it's a nice platform for learners, and of course, for me too. 